What's going on guys, it's Rich Lux. We have some major breaking news out of the Jaclyn Hill camp and Marlena Steele. Now for those of you who aren't caught up on the drama, there has been a lot of infighting in my opinion between Jaclyn Hill and Marlena Steele for years now and Marlena recently went on a podcast where she talked about her feelings toward Jaclyn Hill. Thing at all, just yeah. Put your sign name. a paper yeah. and just, you know, let us sell. We're going to sell it. I make yeah. a cake had its own social media. We were going to push it, do everything. You literally just have to sign a contract and just would she have been required to would she have to like make videos on it and stuff? We didn't I don't even think we had in the contract a certain number of maybe Posts one. I don't anything? remember. Okay. I have to look at the contract, but it wasn't like a this, launch or something. Yeah, it wasn't this, hey, you have to do X amount of stuff. It's for uh for we were banking on they knew that if they had talked about it, obviously mm -hmm. the more of it's going to sell. Mm -hmm. Wow. So there wasn't this huge stipulation. It wasn't this big thing. It was like, we're going to do everything for you. Just do one lunch video. Just talk about it. We'll sell the rest. Like, this is easy money. So I never thought someone would turn that down. And then on top of it, the friendship thing. So in my mind, it's a no brainer. I'm like, okay, this is, there's no way someone would yeah. turn this away. That's why I'm in my mind, I'm just trying to think, why, why, why? <laughs> For so many reasons, like now, many speculated that Jaclyn Hill was gonna make a response video and maybe reach out to Marlena in some capacity or say something about everything that Marlena still had said. Well, she hasn't yet until today because Jaclyn Hill posted a video on her TikTok, and this is what she had to say. Let me show you the receipt. It's gonna be me, I'm sure. Here it is. It's a very simple, real quick, nonchalant video. Let me show you. I would actually love to know this could be answered. <laughs> All right. It's gonna be me, I'm sure. So she's asking this TikTok algorithm a question like, "What? What is she?" And it says, "I'm always hungry." Well, in the comment section of that TikTok, a a TikToker made a comment. Now, credit to the Reddit. That's where I got this from. It says, "I mean, I'm curious, but are you gonna comment on Marlena interview on the Sesh or not?" Nah? That's the name of the podcast, the Sesh that Marlena went on, where she basically exposed a lot of information that only Marlena would know about Jaclyn Hill. I mean, Marlena went in as far as to say, "I took her to the labs. I told her not to use the labs. She didn't email me back. She took a long time. This is it's a lot. It's a lot. It was like over a one hour interview. We did a video about it previously." So maybe we'll insert clips and stuff so you can get caught up here a little bit. But anyways, all that to say this, because in that thread of that TikTok, Jacqueline responded. Now, let me read you the comment again. I mean, I'm curious, but are you going to comment on Marlena's interview on the sesh or nah? Well, Jacqueline Hill responded. Here's what she had to say. I don't intend to. I addressed this situation five years ago on YouTube. Have also sent her three texts and was left on red. And then followed by protect your energy, babe. Now, I'm gonna throw up some rest of the comments up here because, you know, comments had followed after that. Uh, they accused uh, Jacqueline of deleting comments. I believe she said that she didn't. Someone by the name of Kelsey Thomas said, someone's definitely cleaning these comments, LOL. And then Jacqueline Hill responded and said, I haven't deleted not one comment. Now, as the time of making this video, the Jacqueline Hill comment about Marlena is still up. It's still there in the TikTok. So I found that interesting that she's not deleting the comments obviously she wants i guess news channels to pick up on it and report it that this is how she feels about marlena now a lot of people say that jacqueline hill is a liar and although we have caught her in some lies again she said i'm gonna put the receipt again i don't intend to i addressed the situation five years ago on youtube have also sent her three texts and was left on red now that's when i thought that was the end of that i was like oh okay we finally got some sort of update on jacqueline hill responding to marlena well Somebody got a hold of Marlena. I have that receipt. You already know. You come here for all the tea, all the time. Ain't no scandal I can't handle. Let me show you this receipt real quick. Hold on. Uh, you have, I have to dig for this one. It's way down here. Aha! Have it right here. I believe this was left on Instagram and Marlena responded to this and somebody said this. Jacqueline said you blocked her. I don't believe it for a second though. Also, again, credit to the Reddit. She is creating the narrative that she has tried reaching out to you three times. And Marlena responded. Oh, hold on. I have, let me, let me screenshot this because I don't even want to lose that receipt. I'm about to show you this receipt and what Marlena said, and then we're going to talk about it because I have a lot to say. I have a lot to say. Let me get my receipts ready, girl. 
you see. You already know, my conspiracy, my opinion, allegedly. All right, the receipt go as follows. So Marlena said, I did block her phone number after she lied, played victim, and gaslighted me on the last time she texted. She has many ways to reach me. My email, I've had the same for years that she has. I have many social platforms which she blocked me on. Just checked Twitter today, and she suddenly unblocked me one on this week just this week. Those DMs are empty too. Funny I'm not seeing these attempts of reaching out at the end of the day. It doesn't even matter anymore because she lied and so much that I don't trust a word she says anyways. Okay, you know how, you know how I have something to say? I feel like hurt people hurt people. I think that Marlena is still hurt by Jaclyn Hill. She might feel betrayed, backstabbed, sabotaged, maybe, just my opinion. And, damn, I'm ask her, I know the drama's good. When Jacqueline Hill said, I reached out to her three times or something like that, and she left me on red, I think that Jacqueline Hill did reach out to Marlena long time, years ago, not recently. I think that as a fan, you might have read it and assumed that she reached out to her after the podcast that Marlena was in. And I have to like, I have to hit it again. I have to, I have to see this again. Jacqueline Hill said, I don't intend to address the situation five years ago. I addressed it. Have also sent her three texts and was left on red. I think that was done. I do believe Jacqueline Hill when she said, I sent her three texts and was left on red. I do believe Jaclyn Hill did that, but I believe she did it years ago. I do not think she did it recently. So when we circle back to what Marlena said right here, because Marlena said, I did block her phone number after she lied, played victim, and gaslighted me on the last time she texted. She has many ways to reach to me. My emails never change. So let me just let me just stop right there. If I'm friends with somebody and I send them a text and they left me on red and, and I feel like they blocked my phone number. I don't necessarily think, this is me personally, I'm gonna email them because then they might think I'm stalking them, I'm obsessed or whatever. Although I can see myself writing an email, a very lengthy one, sincere, and saying, hey, I try to reach out to you, I think you have my number blocked, I understand, but I just wanna get this off my chest, I wanna make amends. I want to just clear the air. I don't want to fight with you, but let me, this is just what I want to say. And you can forgive me, you cannot forgive me, but at least I got it off my chest. Something like that. And if, and they may never see the email. I mean, so I don't really check my email all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, let me, let me just, I have a lot to say, but let me just, here we go. Uh, my email has been the same for years. Um, that she has, so Jack Hill has that email. I have many social platforms that she has. I have many social platforms which she blocked me on. Just checked Twitter that she suddenly unblocked me this week. Those DMs are empty too. So Jacqueline Hill unblocked Marlena Stale, but never sent a DM. Is this some mind game here? So that way, oh, I unblocked you, so you should DM me. Is that where we're at in this situation? But he's not seeing any attempts of reaching out. At the end of the day, it doesn't even matter anymore. She lied so much that I don't want to trust her. I get it. I get it. Because then Marlena doesn't want to be... I think Marlena is a good person. And I also like to think that if Jaclyn Hill got to Marlena where they can speak, Marlena would sympathize, easily to forgive... Um, you know, like you said, like forgive and forget, um, and ultimately just be like, oh, okay, well, I, I see now and stuff like that. And I think that Marlena just knows that I don't even want to do that because I'm so hurt. Just stay away. Just stay away. I say that, but then to see Marlena say, I checked my Twitter. She unblocked me. So that means Jacqueline Hill is watching what Marlena's saying and doing. I mean, just has that. That's what this is about. And I do think that it's, it's kind of weird that she would unblock her, but then not send her a message apologizing to her. Or say, hey, I saw the podcast. I'm sorry, that's not how it went down. I know it seems that way. I, I got 
lost in just all the money and, and the palette. And at the end of the day, at the end of the, and this is what I think Jack Mahill would say. At the end of the day, Morphe was going to give me so much exposure. All these stores around the country, internationally, uh, their, their footprint was bigger, way bigger than, than Makeup Geek. And I, I wanted the fame. You know, who, know, who knows? But I do think it's a game of cat and mouse on both sides of it. Because to see, to see Jaclyn Hill be like, oh, I already addressed this. And Marlena be like, oh, well, she, she can always reach out to me. She knows my email. I do have her blocked. She has my email. You know what I'm saying? And then Twitter's open. And I think, I, I don't think we'll see them ever work it out. But that's my opinion. So let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I love you so much.